group phase. Um. Oh. Someone in the chat is explaining it. It's an RP server, but you don't have to RP. It's just. You know. Are we sure that killing these messengers is, like, the thing to do? I mean. Not to be, like, doubtful and stuff, but. Alright. We've recovered the stolen goods. We get to steal some credits in true Mass Effect fashion. I'm guessing as our skill goes up, so do our profits. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just want to do this out of principle. Just to help her out a little bit. <laughs> Let's take back our server west coasters. Let's continue this way. I didn't know SoCali existed in Star Wars. And again, I'm not terribly surprised. Plenty of people, RP, you just have to look. Friggin' ow. Yeah, the server is named Lord Adelis, and I'm sure that's a reference to some Star Star Wars lore. Well, <laughs> God damn. Okay, it's official. Mortar volley is my favorite ability. Oh, gotta kill him. Gotta give him the business. Some nice work. Ah. <coughs> Had all that with my usual subtlety and skill. Slicing skill goes up pretty exponentially. I can see why a nerf may have been in order. Took you guys a while to recognize. This is another pretty badass ability, I gotta admit. I love how I don't even. I just kind of aim near. Alright, commendation. Fuck yeah. Another wardroids parts container. That's the end of that chapter. Or not. Uh, let's go destroy the wardroids then. These people are probably in my way. Let's try to hit all of them. I love it when it works out like that. God damn. I'm starting to feel like the Lord again. Which is good. Alright, that way lies the war droids. And it's probably tough as fuck. Alright, we killed the muscle first this time. That is fucking trigger man, don't I? Hagen Longmire. Yeah, one of the people in the chat mentioned that he hated uh, coming to Coruscant because going places sucks up credits. And yeah, I can get I can get that. 
Oh! God damn, the area of effect on that shit is amazing! Yeah, credits aren't really a problem, it's just... <laughs> they mentioned... A friggin' taxi ride costs as much as traveling the galaxy. Yeah, that's... That's that Star Wars sense of scale coming back on you. You know, for the most advanced war droids ever. I'm not terribly impressed. Okay, now that is gonna suck to fight. Thank God this is a story area. Okay. This will do ya. I thought it doesn't fucking phase this piece of shit. Jorgen, kill it. Yeah, I'm gonna smack it. What the fuck else would Commander Shepard do? I have so many objectives. We're just gonna stop here for a second, catch our breath, everybody. Frilled leather his pants. credit boxes. Might as well get those out of our inventory and make room for real useless stuff. A lot of interesting chatting going on sometimes. It's nice. Okay. Oh goodness. It's advanced, so it can stand up to, like, one of my shots. just one guy, so I'm, even though it's a uh, really good one guy charge, oh, oh, even hit him. Now this isn't a story shield, it's just a regular shield. Huh. Also, it's pretty awesome that I'm carrying this in one hand by the friggin' hand. Alright, let's confront the... Mad Genius, I suppose. Republic scum! Do you really believe you can come here and destroy my creations without conscience? Yeah. When you die here today, your feeble Republic will learn what it means to meddle in my work! Huh. Have you been practicing that line? You're a brave fool, aren't you? But bravery Mine as well. cannot save you. You're far too late. My plans are already in motion. Soon the people of this world will be brought to their knees by my greatest creations, my masterpieces. I won't let that happen. This is no idle threat. The droids you destroyed were mere playthings compared to what I have now created. And which we are now I have taken by. ordinary humans off the streets and implanted several of them with advanced cybernetic enhancements. <coughs> 
Their abilities now rival even my own. The cyborg's enhancements are internal and undetectable. The subjects themselves don't know who among them was augmented, and neither will anyone else, until it's much too late. I'm gonna make you pay for hurting those people, Krell. Fool! This cannot end in any way but your death. After you've been dealt with, I'll release my creations back to their normal lives, to wait until my hidden programming activates. It's the silence. full of it. I don't buy any of this. Once my masterpieces begin their work, the people of Coruscant will never be safe again. That's not gonna happen. You can do nothing to stop it. Why is he talking so much? All you can so do much? now is die. I guess, Destroy her! I guess it's just cause, you know, evil mastermind. God damn it. Ow. Okay, kill him. He's hurting me. Jorgen, fucking kill him. I'm dead, yeah. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Oh! Ah. <sighs> Well, all his guys are dead. <sighs> okay, this time I want him painted with every fucking thing we've got. There we go. Jesus. <coughs> Call from command. Come in, Lieutenant. I want you to move immediately and destroy the cyborgs that Krell created. We need to deal with them now before they can disappear into the normal population. These situations are never easy. These people did not choose to be what they now are, but many more lives could be at stake. You'll have to eliminate Krell's creations. We can't know for sure if Krell was telling the truth, sir. Whether Krell was bluffing or not, these cyborgs are a risk we cannot allow. I'm giving you the kill order, Lieutenant. I take full responsibility for the consequences. Now get it done. I'll take care of the situation. Garza out. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the traitors, not gunning people down just because some madman said they're dangerous. I'm not gonna murder these people. I don't care what Garza says. Whatever we're gonna do, let's do it fast. I presume they're still in the story, right? It looks like I've done most of the... Stay back. The door's locked and sealed. You can't get in. We heard all of the fighting, and we heard you talking to that freak, Krell. We're not coming out until you swear you won't hurt us. Uh... Just open the door, let's talk about this. But we're not cyborgs. I, I know if I was some half-machine freak, this is insane. Can't we just take them in? Listen, I'm not sure about these others, but I can assure you that I'm not a cyborg. What? Are you calling me a freak like Krell? I, I am not a freak. Maybe you're the cyborg and you're trying to trick everyone. I am not! He spent far more time operating on you than he did on me, so if anyone's- Both of you, stop it! 
None of us are cyborgs. That's all there is to it. Prove you aren't cyborgs and I'll let you go. What do you mean, prove we aren't cyborgs? You might as well ask us to prove we're not Rancors. It's obvious, isn't it? This is insane. Even if a few of us are cyborgs, would you really murder all of us just to be sure none of the cyborgs escape? <sighs> I'm gonna regret this later. You're right. This is absurd. I can't do this. Then you won't hurt us? You'll let us go? There's no middle ground? Nope. <laughs> Give me your ID so we can track you later. Give me your names and identification numbers and I'll let you go. What? So you can track us all down and kill us later? No way. If it gets us out of here alive, then it's worth it. We'll put the information on a data pad for you, soldier. Okay. Stand back. I'm going to open the door. Here's the data pad, soldier. Thank you for sparing us. Let's go home, everyone. I better not find out you were dangerous after all. We won't harm anyone. I swear it. Thanks again, soldier. Farewell. Hmm, I kind of like this quest in that it's not about just accepting the bad guy's word about things, because oh, I'm sure we can trust Darth Vader. He's only Darth Vader. Ah, oh, the general's not going to like this one. Lieutenant. My orders were perfectly clear. Eliminate Krell's cyborgs. Your orders were out of line. With all due respect, General. I could not obey those orders. My orders are not polite suggestions, Lieutenant. You don't choose to follow them. You follow them. Lieutenant, when you are on a mission, you listen to my orders. Then your brain. Then your heart. In that order. There's no room for sentiment in our line of work. There should be similarly little room for it in you or we're doomed to fail. If we are heartless, what separates us from the Empire? We are heartless so that the people of the Republic don't have to be, Lieutenant. So that the Republic does not become the Empire. Always remember that. Return to my office now. We need to discuss your next assignment. Garza out. After all the people that deserted, I sure as fuck am not gonna be loyal to the Republic just to... Do that kind of shit. If, it, if I can avoid it, fuck that. In real life, there'd be more of a discussion here, but. No way. Of course, this is a game I also know that my character will not face any truly serious repercussions for failing to follow her orders, uh, unlike real life. Hey, uh. Sometime when you feel like you want to be depressed and want to feel like the whole human race just deserves to die, look up uh, Bradley Manning. Or at the very least, lose a bit of your faith in America. I'm not going to do the heroic plus t Oh, what the fuck is... Okay, we're going on our way back. We're going to... We're gonna check things out, I think. Suck. Jeez! Love it. Before these bitches respawn. God damn it. I don't think that poison gas is helping my sneezing much. Let's just get out of here. I'm gonna pop this just so I don't have to keep. don't have to stop moving, rather. God. I'll fucking learn you. I'm gonna try to find a canteen or something where I can talk to Jorgen, cause... 
Or maybe I could just look this shit up instead. I'm just sitting here and wondering about it. Jedi in the hizzle hizzle. <laughs> we get true virtual reality people will be too busy having virtual reality sex to play games or do like AI research or any of that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Guild forces, uh, I don't even have an indicator. You know what? Let's go ahead and fulfill these objectives. So only some kinds of guild forces count? Oh. Um. Hi. Come on, mortar regenerate. Oh. Yeah. Kind of figured that was good. God damn, I love this grenade launcher. It's like my fucking bread and butter. Give him a mortar volley. Alright, we've almost fulfilled this mission. Note to self, lead with the grenade. Okay. Awesome. Really? Well. Feed the guild leader, sad face. Yes, I just did mute my mic because family member came in and. Uh, okay, I'll kill the guild leader. Like I said, family member came in asking about me. God damn it. The hell? Fucking locked out. Uh, looks like the respawn times here are decent, at least. He said foolishly. Just gonna ignore all these fuckers though. Probably shouldn't. Okay, I'll kill these three. Even though they're not giving me a ton of experience, I mean. Well, in fairness, it wasn't really that hard. Someone asked a question, the response, because the Bioware Lords demand it be so. Goddamn right. <coughs> okay, let's hit this bastard with everything we've got. 
Um. Whoa! Fuck! Fuck. Yeah. Did you want Jorgen a while, bastard? God damn it, I moved. I do believe I'm on fire. Bonus objective updating. God damn. Turn in the shipping manifest. Okay, that I can do. No doubt. Okay, I'm so out of here. Yeah, those guys I killed are still dead. That's not bad. the appropriate Jedi Knight class to continue. Yeah, yeah. Let's try and chart a course around trouble. Usually the game is a bit forgiving about this. <laughs> a lot of people really hate Corso Riggs, which is one of the smuggler companions. The first one you did. Empire definitely got the cool companions and then someone chimes in. I like Vet, who is a Empire companion. Of course, that's just the impression people get that bad guys are inherently cooler. Target neutralized. Which I've never exactly agreed with. Do I even have the plasma cell slapped in? Let's make sure. Looks like I do. bald sadist chick that hangs out with the agent. Sounds fun. Hey, you guys. You fuck. God damn it. There was my fucking plan to get him all. I love how sometimes they actually like fail their will roll or whatever. I need to talk to you. In private. Yeah. I'll tell you when I care, man. When I start caring, you will be the first to know. T7 equal best companion ever. Probably because it isn't bitch of you. When he does bitch, it's in a language that uh, you can't really understand. Damn it. Guess we gotta kill these guild assholes anyway. <coughs> okay, let's try this one. I don't want to pick this fight, guys. I love how that guy, like, fucking jet-packed in specifically to fuck with me. Bad idea, homeboy. Okay, yeah, it's probably up there. Taskmaster, I haven't fought you yet. Okay, he doesn't take much damage, does he? <coughs> God damn it. Finish your fucking mags and get back in the fight. Uh, 
Oh shit, he's gonna get me. Kill him. Target neutralized. Thank you. Can't believe I did that. That was tough. I bet he has a commendation for me. I don't know, he has some nice boots though. Whatever. God damn it. No way I was avoiding that shit. Whatever. Fucked him up good and proper. And there's the secure access node, of course. Oh. All right, Jesus. What the hell? No wonder everyone picks Jedi shadows. Eesh. Kill some guild bitches then. Alright, now it's time to kill the boss, right? Yep. Luckily, I know where that guy is. Oh no, he's on the other side, really? I'll give that smuggler a little help. Yeah, Jorgen can take some of the heat off them. Those guys, they're marked. Guess this is gonna be one of those uber long sessions again. Oh well. I know I should be saving this or whatever, but god damn. Huh. It's just so nice to be able to do this. And of course dad has the really fucking loud movie on in the background. I hate that. That's impressive. You know what? I'm not gonna go up there and piss that thing off because, um, I know how that ends. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't attack until I provoke it, but we're not gonna stick around and see. <coughs> huh. Level 18, he would just flatten me into the dust. Be like if I went to the beginning of the game at Ward Mantell and I... I think I've killed this guy already. In any case, let's take him serious and proper. God damn it. He does have that ability, though. Everyone run! And our inventory is full, so we need to return to base anyway. Okay, is there any reason to stick around? I guess we gotta talk to some captain over there. Oh, Lord, don't pick that fight. Let's just get out of here, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, spoilers for the trooper line, looks like. God damn it, Jorgen. You are blocking my line of sight with your ass. I'm still getting decent experience from these fuckwits. In the shipping manifest and the guild ledger and the blah 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 and the, and the jello pudding pop. I love it when the grenade blows just as well. Huh? <coughs> I just hope I don't time out in an area with enemies because I know how that ends. That ends with me dead. And angry. Shot is okay. That's about it, though. It's okay. Slice this and then let's get out of here. It really is like a war zone here. Wow, they nerfed slicing? What the hell was it like before? I guess I already know the answer to that question. Coming through. I guess I report to you. My man can't believe you took on all those gangsters and lived. You're a blasted hero, you know that? I get that. The network terminal's locked down. <coughs> the speeder traffic is secure. Now, all that's left is pushing out those gangsters for good. There's some kind of encrypted message on the network. Looks like a recording. Let me see that. Hmm. It's an old migrant merchant's guild code. I think I can decrypt it. Here we go. You accepted our friendships under the tail of bad credits. It's time you paid us back. All we want are the housing projects you promised our people now. Your people will have to wait their turn like everyone else. I owe you nothing. If you continue pushing me, I'll destroy you all. Senator Kale and the Migrant Merchants Guild are at war? That's what this was all about? Your extortion attempt has failed. My people are pushing back your little army as we speak. It's over. Nobody breaks a deal with us, Senator. We'll have what we want, one way or another. This is way above my pay grade. I'm not destroying the reputation of Coruscant's most popular politician. Take the recording. I don't want it. I'll take it to her. I'll talk to her. She'll have a good explanation. She has to. Senator Kale has done great things for Coruscant. She's a good woman. Give her a chance. My men and I will stay down here. You should go back to the Senate Tower. I already headed up there anyway. <coughs> Great. Let's get out of here before we get winged by straight fire. Hey, Captain. Look what the Wampa dragged in. I was beginning to wonder if I'd see you again. Did you get the shipment of slave collar chips? There you go. Take these chips and destroy them, Captain. Oh, I will. Senator Park will be disappointed, but the law is the law, even for senators. I know he probably offered more, but I can at least give you the standard rate for your work. Alright. I'm just glad we found them before Senator Bark did. I'm with you on that. To be honest, I can't think of a more detestable technology. I've got a lot of data work to do now. We don't want the senator finding any fault with the way this was handled. But you've got my thanks. Alright. Select a reward. Commando's belt. Our accommodation. I'll take the belt. Oh. Well, don't we have a credit box? There we go. We really need to visit the, the market. Right thing, turning in those control trips. All right. Notification. Accept the reward. Oh hell yeah! Level twelve. Definitely gotta go to a trainer before I get new missions. I apologize if the background is annoying as fuck. It's annoying to me too. That's about all I could say about it. For better or worse. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm 
not sure where I'm supposed to turn those things. Um, I guess I'll find it. This looks like a decent place to end the uh, session, though. I might do a little bit of shopping off camera. Go back to the fleet. You're back. Did you find Rhea? What happened? Uh. Your mate's no longer on Coruscant. What? No, this can't be. Where did she go? You don't want to know. Trust me. Oh, my poor Rhea. She was my most valued possession. Why possession? do the ancestors punish me so? I suppose we should settle up, despite the fact that you failed to bring my beloved back. This is yours. You're completely messed up. Agreed. Embraces. Derp. Dump it. I really need to visit the friggin' market. Alright, the van braces are mine. And there we go. Uh, yeah. This definitely seems like end of a session material. Even though, of course, there's always something new to talk about. Okay, we'll talk to the good officer. If they want us to go back there, though, I might just reject the proposal. Oh, the wound. Up there, huh, officer? I can't make out your rank, but I think you can help. Officer Anstis. Nice to. Ouch. Meet you. Apparently, I've got enemies back at HQ. Got the unenviable task of arresting Gambo, Black Sun Enforcer with a string of murders to his name. I've gone inside the dealer's den half a dozen times to confront him. And he's beaten me within a centimeter of my life each time. Jesus. If an attack fails, you don't keep using it. Strategy for security officers is pretty limited to shock sticks and neural bands. I'd call for backup, but frankly, Gambo could tear through that whole cantina if he had a mind to. He needs to be talked down or knocked out if I'm gonna arrest him. I'm no match, but you might have a shot. Huh. I'll go talk to Gambo. You should get to a med center. I won't leave my post. I can't take Gambo, but I can keep tabs on him. That's just sad. No one sees Gambo without going through Zuki, his lookout. If you're lucky, Gambo might give you a few words before he starts swinging. Use them wisely. I get this feeling like I'm going to regret this. Oh, well, I guess that'll all be next time on Let's Play the Old Republic. I'm Hunter Black Luna. I'm gonna go shopping, gonna go training, blah, blah, blah. See you next time.